Hello everybody, this is Avo85. And I'm R Blaze. Right now we are going to be talking about Fallout 4. Let's go. Yeah, so if you have not seen the E3 from Professor yet, you should go check that out. It's up right now. It's up on it's up on a couple of websites. IGN, um, YouTube. But I'm sure Avo he'll post some links up on his website too. So Right, I'll try to post a couple of links and at the same time what I will be doing is showing some of the gameplay that they showed on E3 along with this discussion that we're doing right now. So let's start off with the beginning of the actual gameplay where they gameplay start off footage. with the video. Right. They start off with uh the customization and you are pretty much a couple in your home and you start vault. off what you're in a vault right this no is the beginning you start of the off in, in the beginning of the game you start off in the, in the house in the house okay in the house so you're standing in front of the mirror you and your wife or supposedly the player you want to create and what i got from that is the customization the customization is it's a little bit better it's a lot better actually I like how you can pick a feature that you want to tweak or modify by just um, simply pointing at that spot and tweaking and modifying it. Like, let's say you want to modify the eyes. You want to give them big eyes. You can modify that. Or you want to do the nose. You want to make them a long, thin nose or a narrow nose. You can do that. Um, you can change the skin color. You can change the hair. I mean... Well, all that stuff was already in previous things already. Previous yeah they were Bethesda games but, but it looks better it looks so much better now and it's it looks a lot easier and not as cumbersome as it was back then so right so from what they from what you'll see in the gameplay like i said you'll start off in your house this is before the actual apocalypse starts in this game so you have your wife your kid and you have one of the centurion bots or was it Mr. I forget his name. I know it's a robot servant or something like that. But. So you start off with your robot servant. And after you finish doing your customizations and everything, you, you'll see on the TV an announcement is talk about. And that announcement is talking about the apocalypse and how it's that day. So you and your family starts to run off towards the vault. And... Man, I forgot a part right before that. Right before that, you have a vault tech representative come to your door. And he has to make some certain, he had to get certain information from you. And that is when you actually do your stats. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Miner's your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. So that's when uh, you, you do your charisma, your strength, perspective, and all that type of stuff. And then after that, you'll hear about the apocalypse, and then you have to run towards the vault and everything happens. Now, something happens. They don't really, they don't go into it. They just says, blah, 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 happened. No story, no spoilers. But basically, you come out of vault 111, and you're the only survivor. So... In other words, you can customize both you and your wife or your husband and you, whichever one you are going to be for the remainder of the game, though, the other one is gone. Right. So, in other words, you really don't have to worry about custom customizing how, to, how your wife looks or how your, how your counterpart looks in that sense, because you probably won't see them again. From what they were saying at E3. So what else did you pick up from the uh, footage so far besides the customization and the first part of it? Well, after that part, it was talking about how you can see your servant robot. He's, he managed to survive. When you go out, when you finally start, when you finally get out the vault and start exploring. Right. I saw that part. He came across his old house. And your your robot servant is the one that tells you that it's been 200 years later. So 
you've been in a vault for 200 years. We don't know how you survived that long or anything. Yeah. But you've been in that long. I guess it's probably cryogenics or something like that, but I don't know. It's a fallout game. Anything is possible. Right. Once he got there, um, I saw the environment. First thing I noticed, well, before playing was how good this game just looks. It looks impressive. Looks incredible from the graphics to the face models to the lighting. Everything looked good up there. And it's a big overhaul from Fallout 3. Yeah, it definitely looked like a new generation. Yes. Next generation. Next generation console game or yep. PC game, whatever. I definitely noticed how good it looked from there. So. One thing I was able to pick up is that they use voice actors now. Yeah, that was a big thing too. Like I knew the day it's Fallout. It's been a while since I played Fallout Three, so it's been a couple of years. I don't remember entirely. Did they have voice actors in Fallout Three? They have voice actors, but as far as your main character, your main character, character. has voice acting. Okay, so he he wasn't a voice. It wasn't he was nameless, but he was voiceless in the last one. Right. So okay, I got it. So I wonder if there was an option. Did you did they show an option to modify your voice? No. No? They no didn't voice. show that. Okay. So I wonder if that's also included in the final game. So what do you think? If it is, it'd probably be only like one or two voices. Okay. Okay. I, I what else did you like about the game, though? I mean, we talked about the beginning of it. Um, I like... It was a lot of things I like. I like the customization of the game. And I want customization wanted, how? The ability to customize almost anything in this game from that from creating your own house to your own suits to your own weapons. Everything was customizable. From what I saw and what they showed, they were showing a lot of things you can do. Like taking scrap metal tires and a lot of stuff and using that to build into something like anything you find in fallout you could turn and make something of it so you probably yep. be scavenging and collecting seeing what you can make and making that right. there's a lot of customization in it so we don't know exactly what can't be used for for parts yet but from the looks of it they took some tire some regular tires and made that into just rubber parts and took some some parts off the the house and they was able to convert that and also just some some rubble they was able to convert that into like metal right and you was able to like you said make make your own house but you also be able to make your own settlement yes invite people to your people will come to your settlement and like a settlement and um in the post-apocalypse you have to defend it from raiders, mutants, monsters, and all of that. So it also has a strategy. It's also like strategy involved in it because you have to build um, defenses, which I thought was real. What I thought was real interesting from it. Like you built, you can place deterrents, have a guard man, a patrol, place guns out there. It looked, it re looked really interesting to me. So I can't wait to see how deep that um that system is yeah gotcha and you can also get merchants to come and not settle there but they'll stop by and you know they'll sell some things and they'll be on their way yeah have a have a little community establish your own little community right and one of the biggest things we've heard so far is that as of right now for Microsoft, Xbox One, they will have modding just like that they have on PCs. Now, let me ask you, for me, that's almost a big that's almost a big thing. That's almost a goal. That almost makes me want to go buy an Xbox One just for that. Just for mods. You don't sound so enthusiastic about it though. Cause I have a PlayStation 4. And before that hit, before the news hit, I was planning on buying that on PlayStation 4. But with the news of that coming on Xbox One, 
Mods are a biggie for me. I always wanted to play mods. I mean, I eventually will have to get around to buying my own PC one day, but but for right now, if I if I don't have to buy a PC and mods will come to a console, then that's what I'm gonna do right now. So, but it's definitely it's definitely looking like the Xbox One has the advantage over PS4. Now, unless PS4 gets some time on um, DLC, I can't see I can't see um, the PS4 version being over the Xbox One version. Right, gotcha. Well, we still don't know exactly which one will be better, but I'm sure they'll both be pretty close. And as you know, we use not getting one. Yeah, They're not hey. getting the game. But there's also something else that is happening right now. There's an app out for Fallout. What do you think of the app? It looked pretty good. It's just pretty much like The Sims in a sense. Yeah. You send your you build a community, send your um Sim City. Sin City. Well there you go, Sin yeah, Sin City. Build a vault well, you start off in a vault. You build um you reproduce. Well, you start off as the overseer. The overseer the of the vault. Go ahead. You get people to follow your order. You get people, uh, you get people, you train them, and you get them to do tasks for bottle caps. And you train people, the, uh, you train people in their respective fields, and you build and you build from that. You can have um, and your community gets bigger. Right. Like you can have babies. You can name the babies, and it just gets bigger and bigger. I see it's a game that I never stop you'll never stop playing, but if you're really a big Fallout fan, that should I don't know if that will hold you over until November, but it should hold you over for a while. Well, I wouldn't go that far as to hold you over because it is a completely different game. But in a sense, I mean the game I don't remember if they said the game was free or not. Yeah, but, they said it was free. But yeah, regardless, the game seems so far it seems like it's a pretty good game. So if you like The Sims, or anything, then that should pretty much float your boat. Yeah, could you see yourself playing that game? I can see myself playing it for a little while. Like what's a little while? Like a month? I don't or know. A I'm week just saying or... a little while. Man, I. It'd be like on and off. On and maybe off. For like a few weeks or something. Maybe if they brought this game to a console, like a like a downloadable game, like a little five ten dollar game, then yeah, I probably play it on my console. But I don't know if I'm playing it on the mobile. Right. But that's just me. All right, is there anything else that you uh, saw from the game that you thought would be interesting, worth talking about? Uh, let's see. We talked about the modifications. Uh, let's talk about, um, Vats. You remember Vats, right? They yeah. brought that back. Yeah. What did you think of the improved Vat system? It really didn't look improved. It looked the, almost the exact same to me. They said it was improved, but you didn't see no differences. I saw a little bit of difference. Like it's more responsive, I guess. I don't know about that. I mean, you would have to play the game in order to know that for certain. For me personally, what I saw in the video, it looked a little more responsive. It looked a little, little more smoother, sharper, smoother. Well, um, it still looked the same. They didn't change it too much, but I could tell the improvements from here to there. I'm sure you could probably see if you, um, if you pulled up a video from the last one and then you did, um, you pulled up a video from the new one. I'm sure the differences will probably come into effect. Then you'll probably be like, oh, okay. I see where they. The I only see. difference I saw was just how it, how it looks. As far as you're talking about, if you're talking about, there's like a real improvement anywhere else other than just the the visuals. Then, no, I didn't see it. Oh uh, no, nah, that's not what I meant. I meant it probably play. I, I meant it played better. Yeah, I didn't see that. I did. I seen it play better. I think it plays better. That's my opinion. Right. I will say this, as far as, as far as the gameplay, they had the montage where they was going against the uh, Deathclaw. You saw the Deathclaw 
pick you up in the game this time. Yeah. So you know that's game over when the death claw gets you. Yeah, that looks serious. Looked like it was serious right there. I got excited too. Death claw. We saw what else did we see? We saw raiders. Yeah. Rats, machines. Did we see the super mutants in the um, behemoths? Uh no, no behemoth yet, but we did see a super mutant. Super mutants. Well, it's kind of a given. If super mutants are in the game, we're gonna have behemoths. So. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, November tenth. November tenth. How you feel about the release date? Sounds good. Sounds good. Hopefully they stick with that. Are you picking up a console for this, or are you getting it on a PC? I might get a PlayStation Four, but oh, I oh, might. what is this? What is this? You finally, he's finally admitting to getting a PlayStation Four. I've been trying to get him for a couple of months. The go to console. Didn't say nothing about PlayStation Four. Trying to get him to get to Since a new console last year. Trying to get on to play Witcher Three. You y'all. haven't said anything about. It. Try, I've been trying to you get him to play tried. everything. You you told me that we you were cannot, going to. We, you you told hold me hold that you over. were going to bring we, you the game over this for me to at least watch it, watch you play it, and you didn't do that yet. I haven't did that yet because I haven't had enough time for. Yeah, lie. Because you've been over here before. Last anyway, time was back over here, to Fallout we, Four. It will be out November tenth. Everybody, check out the gameplay. Check out Bethesda's. E3, and we will see you next time. I'm R Blaze, hashtag Avo. Get Avo you a damn console. Peace.